And now we're going to talk about the sequential systems. So the main difference between sequential systems and what we were doing, those were combinational systems, are the having clock or not having the clock. So for no clock systems, we are talking our regular logic gates. Let's say like if we have a NAND gate, and then when we have our inputs, whenever your inputs change, your output will change immediately. So as soon as your output input changes, your output changes right after. There is no waiting period, there is no timing. But with the clock systems, the changing happens only when a clock transition happens. So we're going to talk about this clock transition a little bit more. But first let's talk about what the clock is. So clock is basically a sequence of zero and ones. So if you can think about a tic-tac, tic-tac, so one is zero and one is one, so it changes between zero and one. You can also say low to high. So this is a periodic signal. It's a, it, it, it's always the same pattern, and from one the period it is from one when the transition happens from low to high, high to low, that is one period. So this is your period, and it is uh, shown with T, capital T. And the frequency of a clock signal is the inverse of uh, the period and that is shown with F. For example, let's say you have a period of 10 milliseconds. So this means this is 0 0.01 second. The inverse of that would be 1 over 0 0.01 and this is 100 and the unit would be Hertz. So as we said there are the, the clock transition happens and the circuit decides so those are some circuits that we're gonna discuss. So there will be two circuits that we're gonna talk those are latches, latch, and flip-flop. So the main idea, uh, uh, latch is actually they are both uh, binary storage circuits. So they store a binary information. both of them but the difference is latch does not really have a clock signal it works with clock transi the transitions but it does not have a clock however flip-flop has a clock and the way how we describe the transition if it is from low to high we call this transition as a leading edge because it is from 0 to 1 and if it is high to low we call this trailing edge so depending on uh, the notation that we are going to discuss later, it can be a leading edge or trailing edge.